Yeah. Now, first one eventually on, on the Nedrick. Nice little one. Put a Nedrick on. And uh, it always catches you a fish. Very nice. Uh, my first fish in five months. <laughs> Uh, since we were locked down for the COVID, so yeah, off you go. Little dink. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> Small. It's little pickers. I keep on picking, 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 and um, keep on missing them. So I got this one. So off you go. Seven o'clock in the morning on the water, and uh, let the games begin. So uh, I'm paddling up in my first place. First position that I'm in fishing. It's about two kilometers from here. It's gonna take me about 20, 25 minutes to get there. Um, and uh, let's, let's see what it, what the day holds for us. So this morning I had a quick couple of casts from from the bank, and um, it's still quite cold now, uh, but. Uh, on top water, got a couple. Um, so, the, the fish are biting. So, we'll, uh, we'll see. Uh, it's going to be a nice day though, so even though it's cold now. It's, uh, it's going to get better today. It's going to go up to about 26, 27 degrees. So, hopefully, I can catch. A couple of fish to show you. Um, yesterday already I uh, got two. Um, just out of fuel for what the fish is doing. Um, Pick those up on the Nedrick. Nedrick always a winner. There's always a fish on the Nedrick. No matter where you go. <laughs> so uh, let's see. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I arrive at my first fishing point and then uh, show you what we catch there. As yeah, so I arrived at my first fishing spot, it took me 25 minutes more or less to get here to paddle at 2 kilometers. I average normally about 6 kilometers an hour on the kayak. So, a lot of carp jumping around, currently sitting in uh, close to 6 meters of water. Let me just get over the camera like this. I like to side saddle this, this boat of mine, if I can call it a boat. And uh, let's see if uh, we're going to pick up something today. Um, quite deep water. Water's still cold. Um, uh, it's sitting at, well, fish finder saying 8 degrees. So uh, let's see. What we're going to do today, I'm expecting about between 15 and 18 degree water eventually, hopefully. That'll be ideal. Um, for, for the bass to, to really get onto a bite. So, um, I have a Nedrick out now. Um, quite deep water now. The Nedrick works quite well in the deeper water as well. Just wait for it to sink right to the bottom. Um, and just cast it and retrieve it, especially if you're sitting in six meters of water. So, hopefully we can see something. According to the contours of my GPS, I'm using, there's, there's a bit of a, a flat here, it drops off from the, the bank side, it drops a slight bit, and it makes like a flat bank. Oh, and there's, it's on, oh, off. Man, got a bite. I'm chatting to you and not concentrating on my rod, so um, it might come back for it. 
let's let's see. But it, it it makes a little bit of a drop off, it makes a flat, and then another drop off. So I'm basically on the flat now. So I'll I'll be casting in both ways on those on those drop offs. Um, and see what I can catch. I'm thinking, well, this metric that I'm having on now, I've now fished this thing to its, I think, to its limits, and I think that's why I'm losing. I didn't hook up on that fish, because with the metric, you have an exposed look. You're not supposed to miss a bite like that, you know? Um, so, um, I think I'm going to just swap out my metric head for a new one. Let's just check this hook. I'm thinking it's not as sharp as it should be. Ah, it's quite sharp still. Uh, but I'm going to swap it out and anyway. Uh, it's peace of mind. <laughs> I'll be back once I've tied a new one. Okay, for those who are wondering, uh, this is my box of tricks. I've got another side on this as well. So I'm going to get myself a new nitric head. And we're going to tie that baby on. And uh, this, just make sure um, on this, oh, this hook is quite nice and sharp. Always test it on the nail. If it skids over your nail, then uh, it's not sharp enough anymore. And that was quite evident with the bite that I just picked up. So we'll tie on the new head and uh, we'll give it another shot. So what I'm what I'm using on this net rig is this hula stick from Z-Man. Um, this thing is extremely durable. I've caught most probably about 20 bass on this before. So just basically rig it onto your net rig and uh, exposed hook. Got a little weed guard on here. Um, unfortunately with these um, Z-Man um, weed guards that you have on here, they tend not to last very long. You see you can bend it and things like that. So, um, let's, uh, let's see what we can do from here on. Right underneath the boat. Uh. I saw him on the fish finder and uh, just dropped it right down to the bottom and uh, got him. So, um, that's the first one for the day. Eventually, it's uh, quarter to nine. Uh, water temperature has gone up to about um, 12 degrees now. So we're gonna measure this one in for uh, the competition. And the Nedrick did its trick again right in the top lip there. That's it, the photo came out nice. Come to the least. Off we go. <laughs> nice splash. Got another one. It doesn't feel too big. But uh, at least there's a fish on the fluke. We can weigh this one in. So, bass from two angles. So, yeah, uh, 31 centimeter. So, at least two of the bag of three that I need to catch. Off it goes. Let's see. <coughs> I can get some more. 
to splash too with some water. I got that one on fluke. It's always worked for me. And uh, obviously my favorite color here. Black. <laughs> so um, let's see if we can pull another one from here. Because this I might have a bobble on there because this is, man, this is huge. It's taking drag. Oh, this is a bass. That's not. Oh, this is her mother of a bass. This is a mother of a bass. Oh, yes. This on the fluke. Just the two costs later. Okay, I'm not gonna force anything on this. This is a nice bass. This is a very nice bass. This is a winner. That, that is a winner. That's a solid freaking bass. Holy crap. <laughs> that is so awesome. Um, <laughs> this might just be the winner and it was proper properly worked I had to mess up my hook there but I'll try to retry with the absolute pleasure <laughs> after this one always keep a little long nose pliers with you it helps even especially when they when they swallow it um, just need to get this out I need that tag must be in the photograph and let's see how much this one is hey <laughs> this is a beaut this is huge just need to get him to keep his mouth closed otherwise I don't want him to jump out it's absolutely perfect for him so let's get this as a thumbnail or something for the video I think that will do quite nicely how's that that is just awesome and uh, this might just win it for me there it is. I hope it fits in the frame. It's quite a wide angle length, so it should. Thank you, Manier. Yeah. Let it dry off. That's it. That was absolutely awesome. <laughs> I need a couple more like that. So I've got now 30. 31 and a 46 so uh, that that could be winners uh, let's see how it goes um, I'm gonna try again <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>